1. Stop labeling yourself you may think of yourself as a glass half full or glass half empty kind of person, but this black and white thinking can be harmful. Their world isn't divided into pessimists and optimists, explains Emma Sue Prince, a behavioral expert and author. We each have the capacity to be optimistic and passionate about life. To everyday optimism Optimism doesn't mean you ignore life's stresses, you just approach hardship in a more productive way, says psychotherapist Kimberly Hershenson. Constructing an optimistic vision of life allows you to live well, in spite of unfortunate circumstances. According to studies, 75% of our personal success is tied to how we process the world. Optimism reduces feelings of sadness and anxiety, increases your lifespan fosters stronger relationships with others, and provides a coping skill during times of hardship. It also allows you to handle stressful situations better, which reduces the harmful health effects of stress on your body. Try this. If you feel bogged down by negative thoughts, take a moment to visualize one meaningful thing that happened today. It could be something small, such as a good chat, or someone holding the door open for you. In two minutes, write down every detail you can remember as a series of bullet points, from what was said, to the weather or the color of the jumper you were wearing, says Sean Aker, founder of the Institute for Applied Positive Research, mentally reliving the experience stamps it as a meaningful event in your brain. Our brains can't tell much difference between visualization and actual experience. So this doubles the impact of the most positive moment of the day. Three, it's not just about positive thinking when things aren't going our way. It's easy to put our energy into the things we can't control, things like a big bill, or that irritating person in the family, but the more energy we place into those things, the more miserable we feel. One of the biggest things you can do is to cultivate self-awareness, says Emma Sue. That means being able to accurately assess a situation, differentiate between facts and feelings and have faith in your own ability to move forward constructively. Try this. Get into the habit of focusing on the one thing you can always control in a bad situation, and that is your response, says Emma Sue. By doing this we actually often end up influencing our situation for the better and can experience far more happiness as a result. Four. Check your thoughts. Positive reframing is the simplest technique of all, it's the process of rethinking events in a more optimistic light. Psychiatrist Dr. Apana Aya says, if a client expresses that an entire day was ruined because it was dark or rainy outside, I would challenge them to focus on what may have been gained during that time. Often, they will say they did spend time indoors relaxing, reading or cuddling up with someone they love. After a while, looking at situations through a positive lens will become effortless, resulting in a more automatic and optimistic frame of mind. Try this. Every day, think of three things you're grateful for and why. They don't need to be new things each day and can be small, such as a family member giving you a hug or a nice change in the weather. Gratitude changes your outlook. We construct our view of the world based on the facts we have. And if you're fixated on the negative, you have a negative world, says Sean. Research has also shown that couples who do gratitude exercises together, telling each other three things they're grateful for in the other, are more likely to still be together six months to a year in the future. Five. It's the negative Nancy's. We've all got that friend who does nothing but moan, and it's hard not to join in, but it's unlikely to make us feel good. Negativity can be contained.